Scene three. Lights up on the smoking wreckage of the flying car, which has crashed into the herbology room of Hogwarts, completely destroying it. Oh, oh whoa. Wipeout. Ron, look what you did. Hey, at least we crashed into the herbology room. Always say to that class. Let's get out of here before we get in any trouble. Oh, in the name of stuffy old ninnies everywhere, what is going... Potter! Professor, Professor McGonagall? McGonagall? Look what you've done to the greenhouse! An entire crop of mandrakes destroyed! It'll take all year to grow another! Oh, and look, you killed Professor Sprout! Oh. You'd better have a jolly good explanation for all of this, Potter, or I'll expel you so fast your head will spin, spin faster than a fizzing fancy! Guys, guys, let me take care of this. Uh, uh, Professor, this really isn't, this isn't, uh, this isn't what it looks like. Um, you see, we couldn't have destroyed the herbology room because, um, well, it was, it was like this when we got here. Yeah. Potter, I know I may not be as hip as Dumbledore was, but I am headmaster of this school now. I consider myself to be a very reasonable uptight bitch. But if you haven't got a witness to back up your story, it's out of my hands, Potter. Well, well, well. Fine opportunity that has fallen straight from the sky right into my diapered lap. Malfoy. How fortuitous that I happen to be exploring the next room with my bilingual friend Dora <laughs> when I witnessed the entire happenings of what happened here tonight. Oh, thank goodness, Draco. Can you please clear up this whole mess? Indeed, I can. Uh, but first, I'd like to point out to Mr. Potter that I now hold his fate in the palm of my tiny hand. Malfoy, you little shit. <laughs> and I can assure you, Headmaster, that these fellows are entirely innocent. What? what? Well, then who is responsible for this severe property damage? Isn't it obvious? Sorry, old friend. It was Dora. Miss Explorer. I am shocked. You're coming with me immediately. It looks like this is the end of our adventure, Dora. I really did love you. Te amo también. Lo siento. You kids had better hurry off to the Great Hall for the welcoming feast. Spitzbot, off you go. Shwoo! That was close. <laughs> All right, Malfoy. What, what's the deal? What? Surprised that I could pin your crime on that saucy tart? <laughs> I'm not denying it. I did sleep with her. But she's been seeing my Paddington bear behind my back for weeks now. As you can see, Potter, it's very dangerous to be one of my enemies. Which is why it's such a good thing that we're friends. Yeah, right, Malfoy. <laughs> I'll never be your friend. Come on, guys. No! Why? All right, now, surely you chaps remember all the good times we had at school together. Like when we battled Professor Quirrell and I destroyed that last Horcrux. Or when I traveled back in time and saved you from my evil father. No, I don't really remember that. I was 11. Well then, surely you chaps remember our third year. The most memorable and important one. When we all went to pig farts. I did many important things that year. And we had so many clean jokes and good songs and nobody swore. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I remember that year. <laughs> that year. Well, we've only got one year left, chaps. What do you say we bury the hatchet and enjoy it? Like good friends should, huh? Whatever, Malfoy, just, just butt out, scram, would you? As in, get your poopy butt out of here. All right, dudes. Until next time, you hang loose. Bloody nuts! It's Harry Potter! Hey, What's good? Oh, What's good? My brother, my brother. Sasser's bastard's Harry Potter. Oh, 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 mind a few pics. Oh.
both brothers school paper. Oh, who's, who's this? Who's this? Oh, it's Colin Creevy, sir. First year. Uh, I just got sorted into Gryffindor, and uh, whew, I'm a big fan. Oh, is, is that so? That's what I like to hear. Hey, hey, be sure to get uh, on my good side, huh? Oh, all right. Gee, look, cause... I can tell that kid has a long and illustrious career ahead of him. All right, children, silence, silence. Welcome one and all to another magical year at Hogwarts. Now, before I introduce this year's Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, I would like to present this year's newly chosen head girl, Miss Cho Chang. Woo! Howdy, y'all. Now, I would have presented this year's head boy, but sadly the young man who was chosen was murdered at the end of last term by Fenrir Greyback. So, we cannot leave the school head boyless. So for the first time, we will present the first ever Hogwarts head boy election. We have chosen two male candidates who will campaign throughout the first term, at the end of which there will be a school-wide vote to determine this year's head boy. So, the first candidate is none other than Harry Potter. Whoa! And Draco Malfoy. <laughs> yes. Draco? It is with a heavy heart that I accept this civic duty. <laughs> of course, my vote will be going to Harry Potter, whom I believe to be the best man for the job. Thank you, Malfoy. I'll be voting for myself as well. <laughs> you will each be given a campaign budget of $50. Ooh. Ooh. Once you have settled upon a campaign manager. And for my campaign manager, I tr pick my most trusted underling, Crab and Goyle. Go Goyle? Well, what the devil is Crab? Me and Crab were in the room of requirements. We started a fire and... Crab's dead. Oh, oh no. I was counting on his vote. Cheer up, old friend. Take heart. I met this new guy on the train, and he seems pretty cool. Candy from the trolley, dear? Oh, brimstone and broil. She'll have to do. This is great. For a while I was worried, but without Crab, Malfoy doesn't stand a chance, ma'am. Yeah, Harry, you got this election in the bag. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure of that. <gasps> Bloody piss! <gasps> it's the Roy Lockhart. Whoa! Whoa. Yes, yes. Hello, ladies and ladies. Oh. <laughs> oh. Children. I would like to present this year's Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, New York Times bestseller, and all-around heartthrob, Mr. Gilderoy Lockhart! Why, thank you, Headmaster. You're too kind for your own good, and uh, a little too foxy for mine. <laughs> That's the most famous wizard in the world, that is! Whoa, 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 whoa. guys. Guys, I, mean, I think you mean the second. <clears throat> well, Harry Potter, we meet at last. Yes, I've... Heard all about your heroic deeds in the past. <gasps> oh, didn't you kids hear? Harry Potter used to be cool. Used to be cool? What you talking about? I guess you've all been locked up in this horrible school for so long that you've lost touch with the real wizarding world. Yeah, but Harry just saved the real wizarding world from real Death Eaters. So. Boring! I mean, how sick are we of seeing Harry Potter beat Death Eater after Death Eater after Death Eater in these long, drawn-out episodes? I mean, how many years ago did the Dark Lord die? Five? And here's Harry Potter still dating the same butter-faced girl since he was 12. I mean, when will it end so we can all move on with our lives? Yeah! No, no, no! You're wrong, Gilroy. People love me. My adventures aren't repetitive. They're familiar and they're comfort comforting. Besides, if the whole world, Wizarding World isn't obsessed with Harry Potter, then what are they obsessed with? Why, that would be... me. <laughs> I'm telling you, children, take one step off the grounds of Hogwarts and you know what they'll be talking about. A forbidden love between a young girl and a Dracula monster. Twilight, now a major motion picture. Ooh. Yes, the world has grown weary of Harry Potter. He's nothing more than a passing fad, entirely old hat. Old hat? Old hat? I'm not an old, old you're an old hat. How, how's this for, for an old hat, huh? You know? Hermione can't draw, Hermione can't draw, Hermione cannot draw, she can't draw. Hey, 
that's not even funny anymore. That is rude and insensitive. Wait, but guys, guys, come on. Come on, come on! <laughs> Nobody delivers classical musical hijinks like, like your old pal HP, right? Oh, why anyone could strum that silly old liar. It takes a real man to tickle the ivories. Who's wiser than a warlock, and tougher than a troll, and charming as a candy cane? Who's faster than a phoenix, and sly as a sphinx, and always set to entertain? Here to give this sagging tale a hero to employ. Look up to the skies, now look in my eyes. It's Gilderoy. Handsome as a hobbit, and manly as a mare, and always gives the girls a wink. <laughs> Who's funny as a ferret, and quick as a quill, and always sings without a lip sync. Here to rid your nostrils of that dreadful Potter boy. Cause that smell in the air is the marvelous flare of, excuse me, Gilderoy. Long ago lived a fellow who caught your eye Hair that curled in a beautiful fro Now it's gone and replaced with a suit and tie Dancing in a variety show Oh, where did he go? Does he even care at all? Recently he's been acting very queer Every day This year, Gilderoy is here to fill your short attention spans. Why look at that wonder boy when you could be looking at a wonder man? You could be looking at a wonder man. Who was with that of the year? Seven times in seven years. Who was it? Gilderoy. Okay, but, but check check this out. I'm, I'm Harry freaking Potter. Hi. I would win to all your I'm you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know I'm, come on. Ow, ow. Ah, oh man, what is this? Ow, oh god, I, I feel something. It's, it's not like a bummer. It's not even like a like. It's like a drag, but worse. How am I feeling? Listen to what Gilderoy says. Everybody likes you, even if nobody likes you anymore. That's what it is. No, he's, he's right. He's right, Jenny. I'm boring. I'm predictable. I'm, I keep doing the same stuff every year. I keep fighting the same dudes, date the same girl. I'm an old hat. Well, you know what they say about an old hat. It fits like a glove. No, I, I gotta shake things up. I gotta change everything. I gotta, I gotta stay fresh. Have a forbidden love of my own. Then, then people won't forget about me ever. <laughs> yeah. Ginny, I'm sorry. We gotta break up. Huh? Oh, but we love each other, don't we? Ginny, it's not that I don't like you. It's that other people don't like me. It's nothing personal. And they were some bodacious years. We had some great times. I will never throw out all the shit you buy. Me, but I'm sure you will never forget how hard I rocked your world. This is it. Just like this. Just like you buy. Jenny, 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 this 
isn't like goodbye. It's just, you know, you're, you're cramping my style. <gasps> You know I'm so conscious about that! What's up her butt? Sorry, man, but I just broke up with your sister. God, I gotta tell you, I hated pretending to be nice to your girlfriend because I could stand my stupid little sister. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, this feels so good. <sighs> uh, I, just, I just hope she's, she's okay. Who cares? You're a free man. You can do anything you want. <gasps> you can finally go on that date with Cho Chang, y'all. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But let's first concentrate on making sure that I'm still the most popular kid in school. Let's win that head boy election, huh?